Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So I maybe spend too much time on Facebook. I probably really do. Anyways, they keep having like this thing on those little clips that they have. And I keep seeing that and I keep forgetting about it. I keep seeing that and I keep forgetting about it. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to make that today. <clears throat> so those pizza fries that you see, that's what we're making. Over in the um, Ninja is the French fries actually air frying. And I'll go ahead and get this down. I'll bring it down here and show you what we're going to do. Now it doesn't really, most of them don't show you how, how it's made exactly. But what I'm doing is I'm going to take my can of spaghetti sauce. And I'm really thinking we don't need all that, but you know what? Just to be on the safe side, go ahead and do that. Spread this out. Now I'm using my nonstick pan that comes with my June. So this way, this should just slide right off here, like I see most of these do. And that's probably way too much sauce, but it is what it is. So we like our pizzas with pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, and onions. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to not just make this just pepperoni like how I see on Facebook. And I guess it's on even on YouTube, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and spread out the cheese. That's probably too much cheese, too, but oh well. It'll be nice and cheesy, right? That's cheesy. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is we use our we use turkey pepperoni. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the sheet here. I have my June already set at 350. It's ready to go as soon as this is ready to go. And if this works out, you know, I don't know why this wouldn't taste really good just even over some sliced fried potatoes. I bet that would be just heavenly if this tastes good like everybody says it does. Wow, you would have thought I counted that. Look at that. I'll eat that one. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead, and I don't have any small things of mushrooms, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a little can of mushrooms that I have. Because all mine are in pints or I have them in freeze dried. not used to getting my mushrooms out of a can. Alright. Uh, I was going to put some sauce. You know what, I'll just put this before I get too far. This is just a, I think it's McCormick's or something. It's a spaghetti seasoning because you know that sauce has no flavoring whatsoever. A little bit of pepper. I got hurried away there. A little bit of salt. Oh, yep, I thought I cut myself. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and tear these apart a little bit and put these through the pizza. And one thing about this, using it this way, because I'm using frozen onions and frozen green peppers. This is not going to matter. It's not going to make the crust wet or anything like that. Go ahead and do my onions. Right. Get my green peppers out. I suppose you could probably 
you know, if you want just to make it with just um, meat or however you want to do this, I think it would work out just perfectly fine, honestly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the June, and I will be right back. Okay, so here's the fries. It's all air fried and everything. And I was thinking to myself, that's a lot of sauce, a lot of toppings. So I'm only going to probably dump half of this, and then we'll have that for another meal. So I'll give that a few more minutes on the sauce part, and we'll show you what this is looking like. All right, I had this on for 20 minutes and at 350, so this is what that looks like. This is our amount of fries. I'm going to have Mark pour this because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to make a big mess. If he does, it's okay, too. So we'll go ahead and see how this goes. I am a pot holder. And I guess just start here and work way back. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. That is so cool how it just lights off. It's a little bit faster than what we need. Right? Right? Oh, we got enough for a whole other meal. All right. So, Mark can eat things hotter than I can. You want to be the taste tester on this? Because I am really. Just throw just a couple on there so you can go ahead and try it here. I'm going to put you on film, huh? Mm -hmm. Hold on here. I'm going to come over here. All right. Here he is. Because he can eat hot food, and I just, I can't do it, so. Wow, it's really good. Does it taste like pizza? Mm -hmm. nope. All right. So we'll scoop this up, put it on some plates, and dinner is served. I think this would be really nice for a lot of people who are afraid to make pizzas or um, stuff like that where... Um, it, this would be just a lot easier for them to handle. And like I said, he said this is, tastes good. I bet some fried sliced potatoes, I bet that would be amazing, honestly, too. So, all right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.